kids, stop telling your kids no. When you go to Walmart, stop telling your kids no. Stop telling your mom why you can't afford this and that. Are you the broke friend? Are you tired of being the broke friend? I would be tired of being a broke friend if I was you. All your friends hate you and they talk about you anyway, so you might as well join this community and let's get to it. Hey, what it do? This your boy Sidney Tarver, man. From the NFL to corporate America to owning People First Logistics, man, I'm here teaching you entrepreneurship. From the gridiron to the highways, I'm gonna give you inspiration and success one mile at a time. Let's get it. <laughs> that was kind of good though, I ain't gonna lie. You can't play in a movie better than this. But how to structure the trucking business, I think that is what it is. I preach this all the time. You gotta get the thought in your head. What kind of business do you want? I want a trucking business, so how to structure your trucking business? What city are you in? Start researching the market where you're at. Market research. What are you in? Do you wanna do box trucks? Do you wanna do cargo vans? Do you wanna drive 18 wheelers? Which lane of truck do you wanna do hot shot? First, you need to find your niche within the trucking industry. Do you wanna drive gas trucks, oil tankers, hazmat? As you know, the trucking industry is probably a hundred different ways to do trucking, you understand me? So you gotta get in your mind, do your market research, see what you kind of want to do with it. You know what I mean? Then, once you do all your market research, you got to find where your who, when, and why. Why do you, first of all, why do you even want to do truck? What do you want to be a truck driver for? We need to do that. If you know what truck drive is, a lot of hours on the road, city to city, state to state, a lot of zip codes. If you're a local person, you probably won't. If you got a family, this is probably not for you. If you got kids and family at home, it's going to be a lot of lonely nights when you're on that road. Nobody coming to save you. So make sure when you get in the truck and this is what you really want to do. I just want to say thank you to Cindy because I was in college and just about to graduate and I was looking for something to do. So if you're thinking about taking the program or buying the course, just do it. Like that's all I got to say. $9 is not going to affect you. So just think about it hard or book the call and I promise he'll convince you and help you with any problems you have. I didn't have to go work this office job that was paying 67000 a year plus some benefits. I am forever thankful because I knew that I did not want to go work an office job for some trucking company out of college. So I found Sydney on YouTube and I took advantage and watched all his videos. And then finally I booked a call and he's the one who changed my mind that I got to start something on my own or I'm forever going to be stuck in an office. And that's not what I wanted. So I wanted to do Amazon DSP, but I didn't end up doing that because it just wasn't right for me at the time. But he did help me start a trucking company and um, I got three sprinters rented, cost me barely anything up front, and then he got me some contracts with some load boards. I'm doing good right now. Soon I'm gonna surpass what I'd be making if I were to take the office job, and obviously I didn't do that right away, but it's gonna happen soon, and I know one day I'll be up there with 50 trucks. Yeah, let me tell you a story. When I first started my Amazon DSP, I had to do my research. You understand me? <sighs> let me do that again, that was fun. They gave me a few options. Oh, that almost killed me. They gave me the option between Sonoma, California, Arkansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, or Buffalo, New York. I had to do my re market research. This is an example of how to do market research. I had to look at the cities, look at the cost of living. Sonoma, California apartments was $2,000 a month. Tulsa, Oklahoma, it was cheap, but it was Tulsa, Oklahoma. Arkansas, it was Arkansas. I don't know. Little Rock, it was somewhere like that. Buffalo, yeah, snow and all kind of stuff, but the cost of living was cheap. And that's a big thing in me. Whenever I moved, I lived in nine cities and states. So cost of living is one thing I always look at. How much can I get an apartment for? How much can I get a rental for? How much is gas? How much is all this stuff? I take that into account when I move. Plus I'm starting my business, so I wanted to go somewhere. So I did my research. I was talking to the Amazon people. I was seeing where they need, where Amazon needed help more. I was on my computer recognizing opportunities. Amazon, where do you need more help at? Amazon gave me 80,000 to move to Buffalo and forever. I love New York because of that. Thank you. Thank you for moving me to New York, Amazon. I love New York, R. I don't know what that R stand for. I don't know, but yeah, I love New York, R, yeah. And that's why I moved to New York, did my market research, extensive research. Buffalo has the, the lowest cost of living. My apartment today, I just paid my rent. It was $900. Where in America can you still find $900 a day, I mean a month rent? You can't. You could, but your cost of living, you got too many high standards. You want to be fake bougie and live above your means. So you think, you think how much you pay for your rent matters in life. No, it just matters because you like to go to your friends and brag about how much you pay for stuff and think that makes you look cool in real life. Let me whip out my safety goggles. It's getting dangerous out here. You gotta have a business plan, man. And I'm not saying you need this 10 page elaborate document 
I'm gonna give you the cheat code. Go to ChatGPT and say, I wanna start a truck company and give me a general business plan. And ChatGPT will give you the basic structure. That's all you need. Where do you wanna be? Why are you doing this for? What's your mission statement? What do you wanna accomplish with your business? What's the name of your company? What's the logo? What's your website name? All these kind of things go into your business plan. What kind of trucking do you wanna do? Like we say, cargo, sprinter vans, these some thick tires. That one full of water. We need to do a workout. It's time to do a workout. But yeah, what's your business plan? What you doing it for? LLC, go get the LLC. I got the thing, I got the lawyer. Um, Legal Zoom will get you an LLC. Any lawyer will get you an LLC. Go get the business, take that. Go get the business bank account, same day. You can do all this stuff in literally a week or two, depending on how much money you got and what's your budget. So I'm t the basics is easy. You gotta know your reason why you doing this, what you doing it for, what's your business plan. Here we, what you doing it for? Oh yeah, you ain't got no freedom to do that. You ain't got no freedom to do this. Escape the rap. We out here though, man. What's your business plan though? No, LLC, business bank account, funding, operating, what we doing? Structure it. What are you really doing this for, man? You gotta really take into account what you're doing this for. Come up with a business plan, chat GPT. And really, you don't need none of this. If you're hungry enough, you'll find a reason to start. You'll go buy a truck and start driving tomorrow if you really care. But no, you keep wanting to watch another YouTube video, and then another YouTube video, and then another YouTube video, which is paying me and not doing nothing to you because you're not taking action. But thank you for taking action and watching this. But I'm telling you, get off your ass. Go find you a truck and let's get into it, man. So just write down five first simple steps. Right here, where we are right now, this is an abandoned warehouse. But when yellow, look when yellow freight closed down, this was a storage unit for all of them. This building is making these people money. They get to rent these doors out. These, all these doors was full of yellow truck. When that yellow truck company shut down, they had no business plan. They just got the real estate and they probably made up a business plan. When yellow, somebody called them, hey, let's use your dock and park, post up a whole bunch of trucks up here. And he had it ready to go. I used to work at a cross dock, believe it or not. When I went to LA, I used to have this job that sent me to LA. If you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta pay for it. I just paid out $2.3 million in salary. So of course you can't talk to me for free. I got people to feed. But if you wanna work one-on-one, -on -one, join the community, book a call. I got programs available for you right here down on this link. I got books, I got stuff for everybody in price ranges. Even if you don't got no money, just check out a YouTube video, share, subscribe, do all that. I'm giving out the game step by step. If you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, DSP Mastery, master your mind, let's get it. That's what we own, that's what we doing. Full trucking company startup, but you gotta pay. So hit me in the People First community, DM me on there, reach out to me, and let's get to working. In Southgate, California, and it was a cross dock, but it didn't even, like this building one, it was just open in a roof, kind of like a sports complex thing if you've ever been to one of those. Your things, like you said, your LLC, you gotta have your DOT number, you gotta have your MC number, you have to have all the certifications that come along with earning the truck company. You know what I'm saying? They got these new Rivians over here. They got to get them permitted up. You know what I'm saying? Charged up every each and every day. We need to get some of these to our section, man. He's bolted up over here, though. He got a good music playing. Rivian, we in here. Funding, another thing, funding. When people have questions about funding, you just got to get to the money. You either save your money. It's ways to get money. A lot of people let money handicap them from doing what they want to do in life. Ask a friend. Ask a parent work your job, sell a product. You gotta hustle to get the money up. All people complain about is, my job doesn't pay me that much money. How do you sound complaining for a job that you knew you signed up for? How They told you how much you make when you signed up. Your job told you how much money you was gonna make when you signed up, and you still complain that I don't make enough money. Look at them birds over there bird watching. You, you're an idiot. Nobody feels sorry for you when you complain about the money that you make at a job you signed up for. I promise you, nobody feels sorry for you. People are probably looking at you like you pitiful. You can only go hang out with other losers who complain about how much money they got. Take action, get you a side hustle. There's so much stuff you can do. Flip a car, flip a house, sell some digital products, make a course, make a book. It's so many ways to get your money up while still use the money from your current job to invest into your future and what you want to do. You probably spend all your money on alcohol, clubs, and stuff that don't make you no more money. Start spending the money from your job on stuff that's going to make you more money instead of spending on stuff that's not gonna make you any money. You spending it on girls who don't like you. you. You on OnlyFans all day buying a lot of accounts, talking to internet women that don't even know you exist. Go to your local credit union, go to your local bank, sell your car, sell your house. It's a lot of ways to get funding to do what you wanna do and change your life. 
but most people not creative enough or they don't want it bad enough. Just say you don't want it bad enough. Don't say you don't have enough money. Say you don't want it bad enough to be successful and go to the next level.